loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to my living room. I rarely, if ever, film down here, but it is Sunday. I am Virgo vibing per usual, but even more so as all the planets currently have been crowded in all of the earth signs, specifically Virgo. So when I tell you I do not want to leave the house, all I want to do is clean and get organized and plan and prep for the future, that is where my brain is at. It's been so much attention to detail usually, but even more so very focused and anything in the external has just been irritating for me. I just can't even fathom going out and about. Meanwhile, I'm living in New Orleans and the city is currently raging right now with parties and Southern decadence, which I love. I just came back in from running out to grab a matcha tea latte and here I am just chilling, you know, but so it was nice to see that, but in small doses for me currently because I am hyper Virgo mode. Now I received this question on my personal Instagram, which is Jessica X Alexandria, and I'll link it down below for those of you guys that were are curious and wondering. And then I also received this question multiple times on my business account and with Bahati Life that a lot of you guys know about already at Bahati Life. And the question was just how can we use the energy of the hurricane and storms in general in order to work magic and intention within our lives now currently? I love that question, I do. But before I talk about this in detail and in depth, I really do wanna say that at the time of me making this video, the United States and the Bahamas, especially right now, as we speak, is currently bracing to be hit by a category five hurricane. That is such a huge whamajama. Like that is a big ass hurricane. And it's, I have to say that I want to keep those people in mind because their lives are in jeopardy right now. Like they are definitely in, they're definitely in the line of the storm. And I wanna make sure that we are not trivializing these experiences and we're not ignoring the fact that those lives, their lives are going to be impacted in a major incredible way. And it's just really important for me to start off by saying that. Now, for those of you guys that are wondering how can you use energy like the environment and the climate and the weather in order to work your intentions and to ma use magic and manifest, there are so many different ways. Think of like a beautiful, excuse me, think of a beautiful sunny day and how it makes you feel, most people feel, you know, they playful and they want to go out and they want to explore. Like even this artwork here right behind me, it's the sun. It's inspired by the sun tarot card within the major, within the, with it, it's inspired by the sun major arcana within the tarot deck. And it just brings this feeling of optimism and positivity by it inspired by the sun. And that is if you work your magic and if you're thinking about setting intention for you know, newness and new beginnings and children and play and creativity, a great way for you to not only work your magic by writing these thing, intentions down, um, fit, like physically writing them down, but the timing of it. So let's say you do it at the time of the new moon, which we just had a new moon, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday in the sign of Virgo. So let's say during the day, um, you decided to sit out in the sun and use the energy, the time of the new moon to set intention for health and vitality and vibrancy and, and creativity and productivity and feeling good and feeling organized and feeling happy with your life and feeling happy with your day-to-day -day life and to be surrounded by people and things and places and pets that make you feel happy. That is a combination of not only working with the timing, but you're working with the elements, you're working with the weather, you're working with your intention, your heart, the divine, in order to create magical, incredible change within your life at that time. So the same thing is true for the sun as it is for things as powerful as this hurricane. Now, hurricanes, the first thing that comes to mind when I personally think about the hurricane and when I think about hurricane energies and storms in general, is the space of total cleansing, total um, clearing out, total purification that comes in powerfully, totally powerful cleansing. And the next thing that comes through with that, with the energy of the hurricane for me is the energy of cyclones and the energy of this, um, this uh, everything is connected. Everything spirals in the way that it should just because it's pulled in that rotation you know what I mean and 
I, when I think about that, when I feel that, when I sit with myself within my intention, I think about, and I am connected instantly with how everything is so connected, how there is cause and effect, law and order, and how when we are calling in transformation for, for ourselves and intentions and manifestation, the energy that we're putting out there, it builds up, it builds up, and it's cleansing, it's cleansing, it's releasing, it's removing, it's wiping out in order to prepare for the new. And I find this so incredible, the fact that we are experiencing, or the universe, our, our planet has made this hurricane around the time of the new moon in the sign of Virgo, which is all about purification and purging and releasing. And you have these powerful forces coming in through air energy through water energy. So this is cleansing out the mind. It's cleansing out our mental space. It's purifying our physical homes. It's wiping out um, the chaos, the, the clutter, the disorder, the disorganization, the unproductivity in order to make space for new. And Virgo is all about that. And I really want to emphasize that the fact that this video is going to be timeless, but I'm using this hurricane as an example, as a perfect example for how to use this energy when it comes to magic and intention and manifestation in order to work not only what's going on in the planets, but also what's going on in our environment, what's going on in the cosmos, and also you applying all of those aspects to your life currently. So that's one way that you can use the hurricane's energy, and I'll, I'll dive into that a little deeper, but I want to talk first about the mental and the physical and the, like, physical meaning like your body, but also your environment, the, the environment that you're living in, um, how you could use that, like how you could set intention. The other thing that I see with this is hexing. And just as much, it, it's all about your intention, you guys realize this. I hope at this point that you realize your intention. If your intention is for good, then that's good energy that you're putting out there. But let's say you're hexing, let's say you're banishing and removing, or you're cursing someone within your life. A hurricane's energy is perfect for that. Again, it's that cyclone energy, that round, okay, what goes around comes around, and this and this wind that I'm putting out there, this focus, this energy that I'm putting out there, my intention is to destroy, my intention is, my intention is to remove, my intention is to demolish, to destruct everything that is that you love, um, to bring chaos and disorder within your life, to totally wipe out your blessings. Like, that's another way that you could curse and hex some, someone or something. I find it very important now for me to say, you know, be very careful and mindful about the words that it is that you use because hex doesn't necessarily mean a negative thing or a bad thing, but curse does, okay? So if you're hexing something, pretty much what you're doing is you're enchanting it. You're, I don't wanna say bewitching it, but you're enchanting it in some way with a charm, with a spell, with, a, with intent, with, whatever your intention is for good or for bad. And when you have a curse, that is when you're putting negative energy on that thing or that person. So let's say you're using the hurricane, and hopefully this isn't you, but I have to talk about it. Let's say you're using the hurricane to curse someone that you really don't like or that they did dirty on you. Like they did, they spoke evil on you or there was some type of betrayal or whatever. By harnessing the energy of the hurricane and by focus, pulling on the energy of the hurricane, you can redirect that energy to uh, destroy, to damage, to demolish certain aspects of a person's life, well-being, or their mental, their mental peace. So that's one thing. Or let's say there's a relationship. There's a, I get that question a lot. People who are trying to break apart relationships or destroy connections between two people, why would you want to do that? Finding love is hard enough as it is in this world, but you know, some people, their, their intention is to destroy that, and this wind that keeps coming through the hurricane, it's like, what the, the, the curse that I'm putting on you, not only will it hit you one time, but it'll come back and hit you again, and keep on hitting, and keep on hitting. That's the difference between hurricane energy and tornado energy in a storm. With a tornado, it's like bing, bang, boom, in, out, destroy, destruction. With a hurricane, it's like relentless, total, I am, I am totally like demolishing everything. This, if you thought you could escape from this, you can't. When you think that there is peace in your life, it will come back again. This energy will come back again and it will destroy and demolish everything that is that you love. It will destroy your peace and your well-being. Now that is not something that I would speak on anyone's life because 
just as a person within my own, you know, just human beings. We have highs and lows in our lives. Why would we want to wish ill on someone and destruction on someone? But intention is everything and people do what they will. So I'm, I have to talk about it. Now, when it comes to how to, excuse me, um, I just had the matcha latte, so my digestion is like, hey girl, but okay, so when it comes to, oh, let me pause this really quickly, boop, sorry, my phone, when it comes to working with the energy of the hurricane and how you, would, how you could use this to manifest, one way is by, if you're close enough, by putting out a jar, a mason jar or a bowl or a pot that is hopefully made by plant-based material. So let's say glass or things from nature. So glass, pottery, a ceramic bowl or what have you. So you wanna collect the water the rain, from the rain bands within that and you wanna hold on to that water. You can use that water to put, if you're gonna curse someone, you can use that water to put their name in it and some objects to curse them. So let's say it's like nails, like rusted nails or rocks or urine or vinegar. I know that sounds crazy for some of you guys are like, what? But I'm just speaking the truth. I'm telling you how to do it. Um, and then shaking it. Like that's a really good way to mess someone's life, <laughs> mess someone's life up. Again, it's all about that intention. Let's say it is, and I know that for some of you guys, this is controversial and some of you guys aren't comfortable, but if that's the case, follow your vibes with this. Maybe you are collecting that water, that hurricane water, and you are cleansing out an area of your life and wiping out those that space and you can, um, to prepare it for new, and you're setting the intention with love and positivity um, while you're doing this, then put in crystals, put in crystals that protect you or an amethyst or quartz crystals with the intention that as your life is getting cleansed and as this area of your life is being wiped free and purified for your highest and greatest good only and for your protection for your love that um, you are protected throughout the entire process that love is coming through peace is being restored and you're just sitting in the eye of the storm protected by god pr protected by your angels and just in a space of total calm and clarity so you could put your name within that jar, fold it up in a piece of paper, fold it up three times towards you. When you fold it, put it in a piece of paper and then put the jar on it and then put it somewhere uh, in a, I wouldn't say the sun, direct sunlight, but I would say somewhere that receives sunlight and somewhere that, you know, gets shade at the same time. Another way to use hurricane energy is by taking that same rainwater and putting it in a charged bath so let's say you yourself need a total detoxification in your life, total baptism, total purification um, and cleansing. You can create a, a salt water healing bath. For those of you guys that want recipes or not recipes, but want a formula, the bath that I use is available in my shop. I use it all the time. I just used one for this past Virgo new moon, but not only do I use Florida water and blessed Florida water, blessed and charged Florida water that I pour in my bath soak. Um, but let's say I need to add that extra element of the combination of uh, water and wind. So in that hurricane, let's say I wanna focus on total emotional purification and cleansing, total mental emotional cleansing. Why mental and emotional? Because the hurricane is known for the water, the element of water, which is connected to our intuition and our feelings, our emotions, um, and our subconscious. So let's say it's a subconscious clearing, and then it's also known for its wind, of course. So, which, and wind is connected to our, men our mental states, our clarity, our words, messages that come through. So that's one thing. Let's say you want some total life-changing information to come through in your life using that same hurricane water and that same jar that you collected in. What is it ever, whatever it is that you need to hear, whatever it is that you're waiting to hear that is going to make you emotionally fulfilled and take, take your life to the next level and totally change it for the better. Then you write down that intention, you put it in a jar of the hurricane water and again, crystals or herbs or intention and on the new moon or whatever time it is that you're working with and then put that in a special space. So that's one way to work with that energy. Another way to work with this energy is, well, before I move forward, I do wanna say, I do wanna emphasize, do you guys see the difference between the intention 
behind it. So let's say your intent is for evil and for bad, then when you're working that ritual, when you're putting that energy into it, let's say you're cursing a person or cursing a situation, it is your mind, your will, the words that you speak, the things that you're writing down that are a big part of the spell and the intention. And you're using the energy in order to create change for positive or change for negative. You're changing, you're creating your words and your intent, your will, which is everything, but you're using the energy around you as a tool, a resource in order to manifest your desires for good or for bad. So it's really something important to mention. I know that there's some witches and some practitioners and alchemists that will, um, I don't wanna say disagree with me, but it's a conversation that, that is to be had. You know what I mean? And it's different perspectives, but this is what worked for me and what I would use and what I'm guiding you guys to do. Now, another way to use this energy is by mental, you know, mentally putting yourself in the storm, visualizing yourself around that storm energy when the hurricane is hitting, wherever that hurricane is, and mentally um, visual, visualizing yourself in the middle of that storm, just totally like in a space, space of peace, getting the winds whipped around you, the air, the rain, purifying you and you releasing. So you visualizing all of these traumas, all of these things that you've been holding on to in your sacral chakra and your root chakra and your heart chakra and your throat chakra and your, your crown chakra, your third eye, all of those things that have been bothering you, getting totally torn apart by this hurricane and totally cleansed and purified by the energy of this hurricane and wiping that space free to give you peace and clarity after this hurricane, this quote unquote hurricane within your life moves on and it takes with it all of that energy. That and all of that baggage and all of that trauma and all of this chaos and conflict by using chaos in order to cleanse out the chaos, if that makes any sense. Let's say you wanted to redirect that energy towards a person and visualize that person within that, in the middle of the storm and the, the bad that you wish on them. But again, that's cursing and that's not something that I, encouraged for any of us to do but again it's something that we should talk about and that we will talk about so those are some ways that you can use the hurricane you guys and again as i'm saying this i do have conflicting feelings i feel not only say bad talking about it but i really want to keep those in mind um who are currently in the middle of the hurricane they're not working in tension or anything like that they're just in the straight shot their homes their families their people that they love the schools their communities are getting impacted by the hurricane if not now but they will and i want to keep them in mind while this is happening but it is something that you know is a part of what it is the work that i do and you know we're here to talk about it. That's what the YouTube channel is here for, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know how you feel about working with the hurricane and then also other storms, other weather, other weather, weather environmental factors that you would like to learn how to use that I have used and how I use them and other things of that nature. Leave them down in the comments and let me know if this is something that you could really actually see yourself doing or if you're uncomfortable with it, especially putting you know, your energy in the middle, like setting the intention for something as powerful as a hurricane. Does it make you feel comfortable? Does it make you feel scared? I'm just curious as far as where it is that you guys feel about that and also, um, you know, how you're just, I don't know, in general, just, you know, what's going on with, with you and your life and with the new moon and how are things playing out for you? And I'm always doing my research as you guys know, but okay. So that's it for now. I'm going to finish doing my laundry. I'm going to finish cl cleansing and getting my list going. I'm going to do a floor wash in my apartment in just a second after I sweep and cleanse. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.